Right now, take a trip of a lifetime with the family. The holidays are a popular time to jet set somewhere and experience life. Here with the go to spots is travel journalist Maggie Espinosa. Hey, Maggie. There's so many great places. I don't know. I don't know how you narrow it down, I, but somehow you true. do. I, that's true. Exactly. <laughs> okay. There are so many, but I haven't narrowed it down. All right. Mm -hmm. There is the holidays are coming up and people sometimes want to travel over the holidays or before the holidays. So first let's start off. There is a company called Row Adventures. Okay. This place should be called World Adventures. Ooh, they go everywhere. They do family vacation, couple vacation, whatever. If you want to do a family vacation, they go to the Galapagos Islands. Ooh. They are the only tour company that has a license to camp on the islands, okay? So can you imagine waking up in the morning and there's a sea lion and you there might be an iguana and you're just hanging out with nature. They kayak, you snorkel, whatever. They put together groups where kids are of the same age, so the kids have somebody to play with. That's also perfect. And if you go over the actual holidays, you will have your guy will be having like a Christmas hat on, and they'll make a Christmas dinner, and it's very, very nice. So let's say you want to have just a couple. This same company, Royal Adventures, they go to Cuba. Okay, have you been to Cuba? No. No. Uh, Love to. On the list to go to Cuba. Okay. On the list. They have two different ways. You can do a kayaking tour of Cuba, where you kayak in the Bay of Pigs. Okay, how interesting would that be? And they have somebody that is telling you all about the history of that. You stay in these Casa Particulars, which basically is Cuba's version of an Airbnb. Um, or you can do the walking journeys where you go to where Hemingway lived with his third wife and where he used to go like tip the bottle at a couple bars <laughs> and you know you go to the convertible cars or they do another journey which is wonderful if you really want to get exotic and it's Antarctic. The Antarctic and you go down these waterways with glaciers flanking the cruise ship and just amazing. You have such, Excuse a, me. You have such you. a dream job. Now what about if you want to stay a little bit closer? A little closer. Okay, Cambria Beach Lodge. <gasps> Adorable. Central Coast, Sign between me up. LA and San Francisco. Perfect. Beautiful. Not too far, not too close, okay? 28 rooms. They are doing something for the holidays that's adorable. They are taking bikes. They're complimentary bikes that you can use. They're wrapping them with Christmas lights. Okay, okay how that fun is, is adorable. This? I love it, I love it. Okay, they're putting a basket in, and then on top of that, they have made a map of all the different places you can bike to that are doing holiday events. So you can go to the holiday Christmas market and see the different stalls. You can bike six miles to Hearst Castle and see Hearst Castle. They have an 18 foot Christmas tree there, which, which is, is gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. I went at Christmas I mean, time one year. It was amazing. It, you it could travel amazing. down to Pismo Beach to get the best clam chowder in the world. Oh, yes. Ooh. Very good. You could travel to the breweries. There's a bunch of breweries. Then you can go back to the hotel, have a little bit of complimentary hot chocolate, cookies, etc. Wonderful. Oh, very nice. Yes. Okay, so what else? What else? Where, okay, where can so we go? Let's go a little bit on the other side of the coast. Okay, we just had our election. So I thought this was really fun because it is the Jefferson Hotel. It's in Washington, D.C. It's four blocks away from the White House. Ooh. And they are doing an inaugural package, okay? So what they're doing is they have made up um, a historian, a Ph.D. historian has made up a questionnaire like a syllabus where they ask you different questions about history. So, for example, who gave the longest inaugural speech so far in history that was one hour and 45 minutes? And if you answer two parts of the five parts correctly, you get free champagne. And this is going on from now until the inauguration. Oh, boy, we better study up, Linda. Yes, and it's really fun, some of the questions. Talking they a bottle or a glass? <laughs> A glass. <laughs> a glass. <laughs> Teasing. And maybe if you answer them all right, a bottle. But the thing that I think is really cool is that they have a tree, and the tree has these brooch ornaments on them that are portraits of the founding fathers, okay? Oh. Well, what was happening is that so many guests were loving the ornaments, they were taking them. And it's like, are you serious? And the, and the tree's in the lobby, so they were taking them. So the hotel thought, well, maybe we should run a package this year where it's like, half off your room if you bring the ornament back <laughs> that you took last year. <laughs> no questions asked. Oh, that's hey, funny. Real quickly, you were saying that there is a program so you yes. never lose your luggage again. Yes, this is a great tag. The company's out of Great Britain. It's called Rebound Tag. And what it is has a microchip and has a barcode on it. So you go in, you put your information on the website, and then if your bag, it is compliant with all the crews and travel, et cetera. If your bag gets lost, all they have to do is scan it. They contact the company. The company says, hey, your bag's in Atlanta. You can even put in your hotel where you're staying, your itinerary, et cetera, and it'll be sent directly there. Wonderful company. Tags, $31.99, and you only pay 
four ninety nine a year for the service. Oh, a that's year. terrific. That's a great deal. I know. I love it. All right, especially when you travel so much. Yes, yes, yes I know. It's like the big fear. Don't lose my bag. <laughs> right, Don't be surprised you. if you find us uh, in one of your bags. <laughs> Just saying. That sounds fun. All the that sounds wonderful. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you, girls. It was okay. fun gabbing. It, it was, was fun. <laughs> Dreaming of all those great places. Ah, where are we going to go? <sighs> it's still to come on San Diego Living. It